welcome we will start with some basic questions and then go in detail first question what are the regulatory requirements for visual inspection of injectable products according to gmp guidelines and usp chapter number 1790 all injectable products must undergo 100% visual inspection defects such as cracks leaks improper seals or particulates must be identified and rejected basic and important why visual inspection of injectable shall be done visual inspection of injectable products shall be done for following four reasons first to detect contaminants second to ensure product integrity third for compliance with regulations and fourth to prevent patient harm what are the inspection methods for injectable in the pharmaceutical industry as per fda's guidance for industry as per fda's guidance for industry there are three methods for visual inspection of injectables first is manual inspection in this method operators inspect vials or syringes against light or contrasting backgrounds second method is semi automatic machines in this method partially automated systems rotate the product for the operator to inspect and third is automatic inspection which includes fully automated machines laser based inspections high speed systems and vacuum decay testing what are the limitations of manual visual inspection method human error limited detection and slower process are the three major limitations of manual visual inspection method how the defect categorization is done in visual inspection of injectables commonly the defect categorization is done in three categories first major defects second minor defect and third critical defects in case of major defects these defects are significantly impact safety efficacy or quality and examples are visible particulate matters leak and incorrect labeling second type is minor defects these are the defects which do not significantly affect the safety or efficacy but impact quality examples are small scratches minor labeling issues slight cosmetic imperfections and last very important defect type is critical defects these are the defects which pose immediate risk to patient safety or product integrity examples are contamination harmful particles failure to meet sterility requirements guideline based and important question what is particulate as per fda's guidance for industry as per fda's guidance for industry particulate refer to mobile undissolved particles other than gas bubbles that are unintentionally present in the injectable product what are usp that is united states pharmacopeia and ep that is european pharmacopeia requirement for visual inspection parameters the requirements are majorly for lux intensity 2002 3750 lux for inspection time typically 5 to 20 seconds per unit for background black and white backgrounds are used to enhance visibility of clear and opaque particles and acceptance criteria no visible particles or defects specific limits may vary as per pharmacopeia or product specifications what is human eye capability to identify particle in a injectable container as per usp chapter number 790 the human eye can usually see particles in an injectable container that are 50 microns or larger which guideline is referred for aql sampling plan an adequate sampling plan with an acceptable aql for non destructive or destruction testing could follow astm guideline e2234 why presence of particles should be avoided in injectables the presence of particles should be avoided in injectables for patient safety usp general chapter states that the inspection process should be designed and qualified to ensure that every lot of all parenteral preparations is essentially free from visible particles what should be done in case reject is observed during visual inspection following are the few important instructions that should be followed in case of reject is observed during visual inspection first it should be labeled with defect type and shall be separated from batch second reject shall be kept in a labeled reject container third investigate the reason for the defect to identify potential process issues 
and fourth very important decide whether discard or investigate further based on the nature of the defect and regulatory guidelines why during visual inspections brakes shall be given for visual inspectors brakes during visual inspections shall be given to visual inspector to prevent fatigue fatigue means mental and physical tiredness and maintain their accuracy in detecting defects what are different types of particulates as per fda's guidance for industry as per fda's guidance for industry there are three different types of particulates first inherent particulates second intrinsic particulates and third extrinsic particulates what is difference between intrinsic particles and extrinsic particles in injectables intrinsic particles are naturally occurring in the solution example protein aggregates or air bubbles whereas extrinsic particles are introduced from external contamination example dust fibers and metal fragments why white and black background used for visual inspection of injectables white and black backgrounds are used during the visual inspection of injectable to improve contrast and help to detect particles of different colors and sizes how should visual inspection personnel be trained according to regulatory guidelines according to usp chapter number 1790 and gmp standards personnel performing visual inspections must be adequately trained to recognize various types of defects regular training and requalification are required what instructions are provided in fda's guidance for industry about defect library for personal qualification and automated inspection system validation a mixture of a good products units and defective units with visible particulates should be used below are the few important instructions given in fda's guidance for industry about defect library how are inspectors qualified for visual inspection visual inspectors are qualified through training and regular testing with non defective units that is nap kit what is nap kit used in visual inspection of injectable the full form of nap in nap kit is nap apparatus it is named after its developer it contains a set of vials with known control defects such as particles cracks or other imperfections the kit is used for training and qualification purposes to ensure that inspectors can reliably detect defects in real production vials what is the expected inspection rate for manual visual inspection according to usp chapter number 1790 manual visual inspection rate should be controlled to avoid inspector fatigue a typical recommendation is to inspect no more than 6 to 10 seconds per container this one is very basic and important question question is what are the major types of injectable rejects first type is particulate matter this includes glass fiber rubber second type is cosmetic defects which includes scratches cracks and discoloration third type is sealing defects which includes incomplete seals misaligned stoppers or caps fourth type is filling defects which includes low fill volume or high fill volume and fifth type is other container defects what is pod that is probability of detection of particles with human eye the ability to see particles depends on size lighting and inspection time for particles around 50 microns the chance of seeing them is about 70 to 90% smaller particles are much harder to detect what is aql for visual inspection and what is acceptance criteria which guidelines are referred for aql table answer is aql that is acceptable quality level for visual inspection specifies the maximum number of defects allowed typically guided in iso 2859-1 or similar standards the acceptance criteria depends on the inspection level and batch size with reference to the aql table from these guidelines why gentle shaking of glass vial is done during visual inspection answer is gentle shaking of the glass vial during visual inspection helps to make any particles or contaminants suspended in the liquid easier to detect this one is very important question what are the major sources of black particles in injectables rubber stoppers equipment wear 
environmental contamination and degradation of product or packaging are the major sources of black particles in injectables. Last and very important question which guidelines are commonly referred for visual inspection of injectables? Answer is USP chapter number 790, UJMP Annex 1, JPXV that is Japanese Pharmacopoeia and PIX guidelines are the most referred guidelines for visual inspection of injectables. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.